How big are you? Yeah. So big. Stop. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. Don't mind the mess behind me, we have kids. It has been a while, two and a half weeks or so. Here's the thing, we've been really, really busy, which means that we have a lot of things to tell you guys about. So I'm gonna be throwing a whole bunch of information at you guys as far as how the kids are doing, how the animals are doing, and some structures that we have built outside and some updates outside. I've been showing you guys progress of certain things that are being built and in the past, two and a half weeks or so. Things have been moving along rather nicely and also some changes have been made. Stay tuned for those and also, I don't know if you guys remember the fake egg experiment that we talked about, about putting a fake egg in the nesting boxes. You guys actually suggested it. We did the experiment and we have some results for you guys. And also, it's Halloween. But here's the thing, the kids have still been kind of sick, congested, snotty, things like that. So we will not be going trick-or-treating, but instead of doing that, I don't know if you guys remember last year, we did some indoor trick-or-treating. We're not gonna do necessarily that, but we're gonna do like a Halloween party. Some candy, some popcorn, and a movie. Switching it up this year because sometimes you have to adapt and overcome. We just had COVID about a month ago. Get back on the healthy track. We get these kids healthy, so we're gonna stay inside. We're still going to enjoy ourselves, be in the Halloween spirit. Whole bunch of information coming at you, and I apologize for that, but let's get this day started. Come on! Come on! What are you doing? Come on. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? We had to stop at Tractor Supply and get some supplies. And some lunch. One of those changes that we did make, actually it's kind of exciting because this is starting our rotational options as far as moving animals from pasture to pasture so that the ground has time to rest. The house is up here, down this hill. We put in the same fencing as we did back there, the electric fencing, and then we put a gate down here. This is actually for the horses because the horse pasture right now, the one out back, is so muddy. There's the gate, it's actually really nice. That is so easy to install as well. As of right now, we're gonna move the horses down to this new pasture, watch them enjoy it for a little bit, and here they come. getting so muddy in their other field to let that field sit for a little Rest bit. Rest a little bit. And like it's been raining here every day. It's been so wet. You should show them the creek. It's like yeah, flooded. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good point. It's so high, the creek. And actually, yeah, it's, really it's high. lowered. It's, it's lower than Yeah, it has lowered a little bit. Do my best to show you. But look how high. So it's all the way up to here right now. Normally it sits all the way back by where that tree has fallen down. It's been raining so much, it's coming all the way up to the bottom of our little cliff here. Like the baseball field that's like right across the creek, P and I drove, where were we going? I think we we're going to like Tractor Supply. The whole baseball creek was flooded up to, what is that? What's behind? It's like it's flooded backstop. up backstop. to the top of that. It was insane. That's why it's been so muddy here. Obviously they can get so many issues from standing in mud in their feet and their legs. They Trying to break, avoid that yeah. as much as possible. It's sort of like a little shelter down here so that when it's not super cold, they can stay down here. Either weekly, however we want to do Hi, it, but we're going to rotate them from it. this field over to the other field to give both pastures rest. Maybe I should have hooked up the electric before we put them in. They're getting kind of close. You guys eating? Yeah. <laughs> Silas, you're crazy. You guys eating? Is it yummy? Silas, what's on your face? What's up, big boy? What you doing? What you doing? <gasps> oh, snotty boy. Snotty boy. Hi. What's up, big boy? Is that Becky boy? Can you say hi? Cecilia, hi. <laughs> the lighting in our kitchen is kind of rough but here we go so the babies look kind of sick right now because they're congested they have their runny noses ever since the big kids went back to school the babies have been sick almost every single day hopefully healthy days ahead we will see but as of right now they are eating they have been doing really really well with eating solid foods we'll give them like this ravioli cheese and spinach ravioli and organic stuff pretty tasty they all like it but just like the creamies but that's not really 
anything special. And then Cheerios, you know, we do the Cheerios and we do like the breakfast bars and stuff like that. Just as long as they're happy, healthy, bellies full, that's all we really care about. So they're getting a lot better with actually picking up the food and eating it. Motor skills are getting much, much better. Um, <laughs> so all good, all good. Yum, yum, yum. What's up guys, you coloring? Yeah. Yeah? I see some strawberries. You see some strawberries? No, blueberries. Blueberries? What color are you gonna color the blueberries? Blue! <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Oh, are you counting? Yeah. Are you doing some math? One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Let me What's up, guys? What are you doing, Connor? I'm, I'm, I'm a police copter. You're a police copter? Yeah. That's pretty cool. What is that exactly? A what kind of superhero? Almost like a transformer? That's pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys remember like two weeks ago or so, we talked about doing the fake egg experiment, putting two fake eggs in their nesting boxes. We did that. P, has it worked? Yes! <laughs> yes, it has worked, right? Aiden, so we were getting one egg every other day, right? Yeah. Before, but then we started the fake egg experiment. And we started getting two and three eggs. Two and three eggs every day. And then one day we got four eggs. So we've been getting two or three eggs every single day, where before we were getting one every other day. Sometimes one every three days. So the fake egg experiment, success? Yep. So with the new found abundance of eggs, meaning we have more eggs, what we try to do, now this doesn't happen every weekend, we try to make most of the eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Connor. Con yeah, they will if you kneel down and hold your hand out and go chick, 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 Animal check. Animal number one, the Connor. <laughs>